What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today we are back here with the South Africa v Australia ODI decider match review. I was going to go through the whole series but we've actually lost and we choked so I've already said fuck that. So South Africa win by 122 runs. Uh, they win the series 3-2 and after a disappointing T20 series, it must be said for the pro tiers, they come back, they lost the first two ODIs, it was looking grim. Ever since then, they've just kind of rallied and, and been by far, like out and out, have dominated us in the, in the last three games, really. So just a massive shout out to them um, for a white ball team that's been under a lot of pressure in the last 12, 18 months. They look pretty good this tournament. So, hey, if you are new around here, subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below all your thoughts on this one if you've been paying attention to this series. Even if you haven't and you're just reading the scorecards, just, just tell me your fucking thoughts down below. Let me know what you're taking out from this, as I will. All right, player of the series, Sunrisers Hyderabad legend, Aiden Markham. So, well done to him. You know what? I'm a little bit sad about this one because after, you know, the Asia Cup final finished really early last night, um, so I was able to keep watching the entirety of this game and just focus on this one game. I wish I didn't. I, <laughs> I wish it rained out or something because this was a poor watch. <sighs> it's just depressing, honestly. Player of the match, Marco Jansen, 5 for 39 off 8 and 47 off 23. A blitz with the bat, dominant with the ball. He gets that thing talking. And as I've been saying about Jansen, ever since I've seen him, when, when was the first game? I think I've seen him, oh, it was a while ago now. I reckon it would have been over a year or so ago, but there was a series, I can't remember. No, it was against India in, the, um, in an ODI series in India. Um, a while ago and I remember he kind of took my eye then and I'm like who the fuck is this tall guy bowling express pace gets it to move and combat and he's uh, he's really proven his worth he's kind of like that next like Kyle Jameson but not being injured so it's kind of good to see um, someone like him and he's only how old 24 25 23 fucking hell so he who is this who's this guy anyway <laughs> Um, shout out to Marco Jansen. Incredible. Yeah, I mean, he's been a, he's been a yeah, great player so far for them. All right, South Africa into bat first. Quinny de Kock, it's his last ODI in South Africa for Team South Africa. Just a really sad kind of way to go out. Obviously, prioritizing the T20 leagues instead and a bit of that moolah, ka-ching, ka-ching money. So... I guess each to their own. It's his decision. He's been a great player for this country for a long time, but has decided he will go the T20 route. Um, my thoughts on that, everyone probably already knows, but I don't think anyone cares for me to say it again. Temba Bavuma. Well, oh, sorry, I should actually talk about his knock. 27 off 39, four fours, was looking good early, then just really caved out to Cam Green and on his bike. And it was a nice little send-off. The crowd gave him a clap off. Good to see. Uh, Temba, the skipper, he was rested in the last game for this big decider. <laughs> Poor Temba. I feel for him. You know, he's one of my faves. He got he got completely burnt by Quinton de Kock. Quinny, there was no run there, son. Um, and you should know that Temba's little legs aren't going to get up the other end that quick. So he went for two, uh, none off two. You're lucky it was your last game, Quinton de Kock, or Temba would have thrown his bat through your noggin. Ah, oh, man, disappointing. You know what? If there's always one thing I want to see from South Africa, it's Temba do well. Disappointing. Van der Dusten, 30, Rajasthan Royals legend, Markram. I mean, he was just a, yeah, a huge um, 93. Really unlucky there. Tim David comes on with his first ball in ODI cricket and gets Aiden Markram out with his first ball. Just ridiculous stuff. It was a pretty shit delivery. Like, it was nothing special. Markram tries to hit it out to the deep, hit it straight down Nice's throat, um, and he went for 93. You would have liked to see him get the 100, but... Not me personally. I was happy with that result. Henrik Klaassen couldn't back up what he did in the last game. We know that in the last game, he hit one of the great ODI knocks I think I'll ever see. If you haven't seen the highlights from Klaassen's innings um, against uh, Australia in the last game, go watch it. It's just disgusting hitting. But yeah, he goes for six here. Adam Zampa, he went for 103 runs in the last game. He bounces back here. Somewhat. I mean, he took the big wicket of Klaassen. 
that was good enough. David Keller Miller, 63 off 65. He did a lot of late work there um, with Jansen. Honestly, they just went to town. Paleka Wayo, or however you say that man's damn name, he went huge as well. 38 off 19, four sixes for, for Andile. Yeah, ridiculous stuff. So just, just really poor depth bowling. And that's always been our problem for Australia is our depth overs is... You know, we rely on Mitchell Stark too often. Hazelwood's, you know, an upfront sort of guy. Cummins is an upfront sort of bowler. Cam Green's not really a death bowler. With we we tend to use Stoinis as that guy as well, but he's not a death over bowler. Abbott is, but not really. Like he he Sean Abbott is either really good or really shit. He's a really hard cricketer to watch. As a Sydney Sixers fan my entire life. I know that firsthand more than anyone. Um, but look, we just need that next guy. Nathan Ellis played and bowls the death overs is, is is pretty hit and miss as well. But I'm a big fan of him and would like to see him at the World Cup. And yeah, so just really late carnage. A few late polls there from, from Adam Zampa. Bit of a stat pad, but we don't mind that. All right, into the bowlers. Nisa really started well. He was bowling fire early. Unlucky. He was just doing everything like it was unplayable stuff early and then the assistants kind of went away there at the Wanderers and um, it was just a nice deck to bat on by the end none for 60 off 10 D he did get put pretty late um, which was disappointing but is what it is Sean Abbott so again like he, he did bowl okay two for uh, two for 54 off 10 Cam Green one for 59 Nathan Ellis one for 49 off eight he did get put a little bit Zampa uh, three for 70 off 10. Yeah, he's being pretty expensive and yeah, he's gonna, I mean, it, I don't know because the last time we saw him in Indian conditions, it was, I'm very sure he was pretty effective. So yeah, hoping that in Chennai, in games at luck now, like the conditions can just play into his favor really big. And Timmy D, one for 20 off two. So inspirational there at the end from the Singaporean himself. So we had to chase down 315 to win. It's not out of reach. It's a big total. It's not out of reach. With our batting lineup, you would think that we're a big chance to chase this shit down, wouldn't you? Anyways, Mitchell Marsh, the skipper. Thank God you exist, because if you didn't, I don't know if I could watch this cricket team play white ball cricket anymore. Goodness me, it's getting harder and harder to watch. Like, I know that we won the T20 World Cup in 2021. I don't care about that anymore. We didn't even make the playoffs or the, the Super Fours or whatever in 2022. I understand this is ODI cricket. You know, 2019 wasn't a great World Cup for us either. So we need a big bounce back in this format at the World Cup. And, you know, this is this team is not even close to our best 11. Our, our um, what do you call it, warm up to the World Cup. Our preparation has been really shit. Like we're going to play, what, two to three games against India beforehand. But I just don't know if that's enough to gel the whole team together again. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's 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 an interesting one. Uh, where was I at anyway? Candice Warner, he's gone for 10. Yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. Inglis chops on. Yeah, I'm I'm not. I'm just gonna be calm about it because this is this is a series in South Africa. It's not the end of the world, but Red flags. There's a lot of red flags. Inglis, you're one of them, mate. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Manus Labashain, 44 off 63. He battles, he battles. I don't know. Like, fuck. You know, he had a good 100 at the start when he came. Oh, not 100. He, what did he score? I, it was a big score at the start of the series where he came in as the concussion sub. Um, but, yeah, it's it's just not a whole lot of positives coming out of this top order, is there? Alex Carey, when he's batting at five and going out for two, you're in some danger. Cam Green going for 18. Tim David's going for one. Abbott 23. But like that, it's just a nothing batting order. We need more from the middle order, from the top order, from fucking everyone. Moses on Reeks, does he fix these problems? I think he does. Anyway, we won't even we won't even start with that conversation. Um, the South African bowlers. Ngidi only had to bowl the five overs, none for 23 or five. Cosity. None for 47. Janssen, 5 for 39. Just carnage. Player Wayo, 1 for 43. Off 6. And Maharaja. The Maharaja Mac? No. 4 for 33. Off 9.1. Overs. Just, again, just couldn't play the spin. And um, that's all over Red Rover. So, hey, that is essentially going to cap this off. I don't know if there's any statistics I can bring up. 
it seems no. But hey, that that that, that will finish us off. But kind of a just a sad one in the end for me. Like I don't know, man. This team. They're, they're kind of upsetting me at the moment. I need to see a bit more from the lads. I need to feel that joy of winning because we won the two ODIs and then then we lose three straight. I mean, it does not feel good. But anyway, I'm going to cap it off there before I start crying. I hope we all enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below all of your takeaways from this series and I'll see everyone in the next one.